Psychics can get a bad rap as being scam artists, but what happens when they're proven right? People are often skeptical of those who claim to be psychics, but there have been documented instances in the past where predictions have in fact become reality. Whether you believe that some people are truly connected to another realm or not, these events did in fact happen and were predicted by what seems to be a gifted few. Here are 10 psychics who actually predicted future events. Number one is Baba Vanga. Born in 1911, Baba Vanga was a blind Bulgarian clairvoyant known as the Nostradamus of the Balkans. Before her death in 1996, she made hundreds of predictions, including some of the biggest events of the past century, decades before they actually happened. Her prophecies have an estimated 85% success rate. When she was only 12 years old, she mysteriously lost her eyesight during a storm, and it was after that that she began having visions and seeing the future. In the 1950s, she predicted the 2004 tsunami and that the ice caps would melt by 2045, which lines up with current global warming rates. In 1989, she predicted the September 11th terrorist attacks when she said the American brethren will fall after being attacked by steel birds. She also predicted that the United States 44th president would be an African American male and that when he left office, there would be a great divide within the country. She has also predicted that within the next few years, Europe will cease to exist, America will fall, and China will become the new superpower. Let's hope that her streak breaks. Number two is Edgar Case. Born in Hopskinville, Kentucky in 1877, Edgar Case was an American Christian mystic known as the Sleeping Prophet. He was given this nickname because he would lie down and go into a meditative state in order to access what he calls superconsciousness, a universal consciousness that connects us all. He's one of the most well-known psychics of the 20th century, having predicted the stock market crash of 1929, the end of the Great Depression, both world wars and the rise and fall of Adolf Hitler. He also foresaw the deaths of American presidents Franklin D. Roosevelt and John F. Kennedy. After many of his predictions proved correct, Case became hugely popular and used his abilities to help medical diagnoses, remedies, and spiritual guidance. He's actually considered one of the founding fathers of holistic medicine and the New Age movement. As for his last prophecy, on January 1st, 1945, he claimed that he would be buried within four days, and just two days later, at the age of 67, Case died as a result of a stroke. Number three is Tana Hoy. Born in 1976, Tana Hoy is an American psychic medium that claims he has been able to see, hear, and communicate with spirit guides, guardian angels, and dead people since he was a child. He describes his psychic experience as similar to Whoopi Goldberg in the movie Ghost, passing messages from the spirit world to the living. Hoy gained international attention for predicting the Oklahoma City bombing barely two hours before it actually happened. On April 19, 1995, Hoy was a guest on a radio show in Fayetteville, North Carolina. During the show, he exclaimed that there was going to be another terrorist bombing in America, in a Midwestern city that starts with an O. Sure enough, just 90 minutes later, terrorist Timothy McVeigh set off a bomb that killed 168 people and destroyed the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building in Oklahoma City. Apparently, Hoy had told the FBI of the same prediction four months earlier, but they did not take him seriously. Number four is Jeffrey Palmer. Jeffrey Palmer was born in New York City, but now lives in Australia and is a psychic and author who specializes in metaphysics and the paranormal. He began having out-of-body experiences as a child and has continued to use and strengthen his meditation techniques like transcendental awareness. Palmer specializes in predictions about short-term future events and has been used by investigators to help find missing people. In 2004, Palmer became known for predicting a devastating earthquake and tsunami 
tsunami in the Indian Ocean. That prediction proved to be true on December 26th later that year. After an earthquake in the Indian Ocean, a tsunami struck Indonesia and killed 230,000 people across 14 countries. He also predicted Hurricane Katrina before it struck Louisiana in 2005. And in early 2006, he also accurately predicted the world would discover Korea's testing of nuclear weapons which happened later that year. Number five is Terry and Linda Jameson. Linda and Terry Jameson are both identical twin sisters who were born in 1965 in Pennsylvania and have become known as the Psychic Twins. This because they've made over 1,500 accurate predictions. On November 2nd, 1999, while on the radio program Coast to Coast, the twins predicted that there would be an attack on the government and the World Trade Center in New York by 2002. This was a very real premonition of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. During a number of radio interviews between January and May of 2012, the twins claimed that they kept hearing sounds like a cannon that were related to Boston. The very next year on April 15th, 2013, the Boston Marathon was attacked with homemade bombs made from pressure cookers and the explosions were described as sounding like a cannon being fired. They're also on record as predicting the terrorist attacks in Paris, San Bernardino and Orlando, as well as Hurricane Katrina, the rise of ISIS, and the North Korea Sony hacks. Number six is Susan Saxman. Unlike most of the other psychics on this list, Susan Saxman has the unique nickname of the Reluctant Psychic. Born in the 1960s in New York, it took her many years to accept her ability to see and communicate with the dead. She was able to accurately predict many events. One day, she had told a boy to never drive and to not even bother getting a license or even getting in a car as all she saw was a really bad accident. Unfortunately, just a month later, a call from the boy's mother revealed that he had died in a car crash. Another eerie prediction was that of a father gaining sole custody of his daughter, though Saxman predicted that there would be no divorce between him and his wife. Instead, just a week after the prediction, the man was killed in a plane crash. Seven years later, his daughter died of leukemia, leaving his wife to return to Saxman stating he has sole custody of her now. Number seven is Roseanne Schwab. Roseanne Schwab has a PhD in psychology and has been working as a psychic for over 55 years. During her long career, she has had a 98% accuracy rate in her predictions. She's even appeared as a guest psychic on television shows like Montel Williams and claims to channel four different angels that guide her in making her premonitions. A large part of her career has been spent helping law enforcement, even including the White House, FBI, and National Homeland Security. One of her biggest premonitions was that Bin Laden would be found and killed during Barack Obama's presidency and that Obama would be elected for a second term. She even predicted the 9-11 attacks while she was a guest on The View. In November of 2003, she predicted the earthquake in Iran that took place a month later on December 26th. And she is also have said to have predicted Michael Jackson's death at an early age from a drug overdose. Number eight is John Elfreth Watkins Jr. John Elfreth Watkins Jr. was the son of renowned American civil engineer John Elfreth Watkins Sr. and was somehow able to see the future. In 1900, he wrote an article for the Ladies Home Journal called What May Happen in the Next Hundred Years and included over 25 predictions about what life may be like in the year 2000. And unbelievably, many of them came true, including color photographs that can travel instantly through time and space referring to television and the internet, the invention of tanks, pre-cooked meals, wireless telephones, x-rays, and CT scans, just to name some. Watkins admitted that at the time, reading what he wrote might have seemed ridiculous, but that he wasn't wrong. He even predicted that trains would reach speeds of 150 miles per hour. In fact, in the year 2000, the Amtrak Acela Express opened, operating trains from Boston to Washington, D.C., and reached top speeds of, you guessed it, 150 miles per hour. Number nine is Gene Dixon. 
Jean Dixon was an astrologer and self-proclaimed psychic from Wisconsin who became famous in the 1960s for correctly predicting the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. In fact, in an issue of Parade Magazine on May 13, 1956, Dixon wrote that the next elected president would be assassinated or die in office. Dixon originally grew up in California and claimed that it was a gypsy who had given her a crystal ball and read her palm that got her interested in the power of the psychic world. She also accurately predicted the death of Martin Luther King and Mahatma Gandhi. And number 10 is Nostradamus. Born on December 14, 1503, famous French seer and doctor Michel de Nostradam, better known as Nostradamus, is by far the most renowned and accurate prophet the world has ever seen. Even the nobility at the time relied on him to provide them with annual horoscopes, and in 1555, he published his book Les Prophéties, which contained his most famous prophecies. He predicted the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte and Adolf Hitler. In predicting Hitler influence in World War II, he wrote the following, Out of the deepest part of the west of Europe, from poor people a young child shall be born, who with his tongue shall seduce many people. His fame shall increase in the eastern kingdom. His writings may sound like riddles, but they're still coming true almost 500 years later. He also wrote that the sky will burn at 45 degrees Fire approaches the great new city, and to this day many people believe that he was writing about the 9-11 attacks on New York City as it sits near 45 degrees latitude. So those were 10 psychics who actually predicted the future. But I want to know from you, do you believe that these people were actually psychic, and if not, how can their predictions be explained? Leave your response as a comment below because I'll be reading through them and I'm going to pin the best comment to the top. But as always, thank you guys so much for coming by today. Remember to come back tomorrow and every day at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I'll have a brand new video for you. I'll see you then.